Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create an aura using Erasmus Studio. The first thing you'll need to do is upload a trigger image. Your trigger image can be any static image that you'd like. In this case, I am going to browse and look for one of my reading charts. Let's call it, look, say, predict, and save. Right, once it's done, you can close it, and there it is. Just close this window now. The next thing you need to do is you need to upload your overlays. Your overlays can be video, they can be a static image as well, um, and it can even be any sort of animation that you might find online. So in this case, I want to include one static image. So let's upload that and I'm gonna call it Elmer because it is the book cover of the children's book, Elmer. Let's make it an image and save that. And close it when it's done. And I'm gonna add my second overlay, which will be a video. And again, I'm going to call this look, say, predict, save. Okay, all done. Now I am done uploading my trigger images and my overlays. I can go to my auras. And I'm going to add a new aura. The first thing I need to do is give it a name. Again, let's call it look, say, predict. Now I need to put in the trigger image, and there it is. Looks I predict that's what I'd like. It's a bit big there, so let's zoom out. Okay. And of course I have to add it to my channel. Great. Now I need to add an overlay. So the first overlay that I want to add is the picture of the book cover, Elmer. Now this is a bit big. I only want it to be hovering over a part of my trigger image. So let's put it right there. Now I'm gonna add my second overlay, which is going to be the video, which explains the chart. And this is just a video that I created of myself talking about or actually demonstrating this reading strategy. All right, so I've got both my trigger images in place. This is different from creating an aura on your device because on your device, usually you can only put one overlay over one trigger image. Okay, so now that I'm all done, you could add actions if you wanted. For example, when the overlay is double tapped, you can make it full screen. I don't want that, so I'm not gonna add this action. Now I'm going to save. All right, that's all done. I'm going to close it. Okay, so let's check if my aura works now on my iPad. I've got my trigger image ready to go on my screen. And the great thing about Erasma is you don't actually have to have a physical image in front of you. You can actually scan from your screen as well. So here we go. There you go, your aura created using Erasmus Studio with more than one overlay. 